Hey everybody, welcome back. Good to have you along. Radio Man 3 here. I am doing a little cabin. Uh, this is down in that area, the same area we've been in most of the game. Well, there's some darkness up there too. I'm going to come back for that. And uh, I bumped into a cave uh, back where the gold was, back where we got the obsidian in that room right uh, there. It's right below here, right down there. So I came up here and sure enough there's a bigger cave up here. I also did some lighting up over by the uh, stronghold, but I thought we'd do a little cave in real quick. Get things lit up a little bit. Since this is uh, right underneath the house and we're gonna make a mob spawn trap, so we... Okay, there's the block I just put in, so we're up in the area that uh, was dark that we just looked at a second ago. So it's all lit up there. Just a zombie. Hello. Come on down. There we go. Oh boy. Took it like a zombie. Some more coal. I am using uh, my diamond pick right now, but I also have a fortune pick on me because I want to go back and get those diamonds, and I want to see if we can't get, with the fortune pick, get five diamonds out of the three blocks so we can make a diamond pick and a diamond sword, and then we will enchant one or the other. That's kind of the goal there. Oh, yeah. Come here, you. Come here. You. Give me your arrows. Give me your XP. Give me your bones. I want all of it. Uh huh. Gravel. How crazy would it be if we found an abandoned mine shaft down here, too? Right in the same general area. We, we wouldn't. I mean, forget the rest of the map. Who needs it? Cannot believe all the stuff we've got here so far. It's amazing. Never had such a good world as this one. This one really has uh, delivered some neat stuff already. Some very exciting stuff. I'm anxious to build, though. You guys have not seen me build, and... You know, that I know that's a big part. Of, that's a huge part of Minecraft for me, is the building part. So we are going to have some build time for sure. The, the structure I'm going to build, the facility, it is going to be... Very big. So... We'll get started on that. We just have got to get some resources put together. I am cooking up some stone. I am putting that together right now because we are going to need that. Look at this hole over here now all of a sudden popping out. Looks like a more tunnel right there. Incredible. Incredible. This is, uh, well, I, t I told you where this is. I showed you where it was. It's at the end of that uh, one strip mine that I did. And uh, we're just looking to see if there's one more iron down there. We'll take it. I've gotten more iron, too. I did do uh, that ravine. And I collected a bunch of stuff out of that ravine. This is, might be a little dark, huh? Let's get that lit up. There we go. There's some coal. Excellent. Wow. There we go. Excellent. Perfect. That's great. Good resources. Well, you know what? Let's uh, let's use this fortune pick on this coal. We really need some coal. You know, I also thought about is we can use lava in the furnaces to uh, cook stone. The thing is, though, is that I, I believe you don't just put the lava in the furnace. You put the bucket in there, too, and you don't get that bucket back. So that's three iron each time. So I don't know if I should do that and uh, just go for it, because I know you can cook a lot of stone with a bucket of lava. So it might be worth it to, to get the uh, stone cooked. There we go. Let's just grab this real quick. It's okay. I got another shovel. There we go. Nice. Get some iron. Good stuff. You know what, let's put this up here, and let's drop this one down here so it's a little more convenient for the coal grabbing. So yeah, we're getting like two and three chunks of coal out. There's a three one. See, with a fortune pick, you get more than just... If it's a regular pick, like the diamond pick here, there's a two. It's always one. But, with the fortune pick, it gives you extras. There's two. There was three in that one. 
Okay, so you get extra stuff. That's great. So we're going to try that out on those diamonds. Let's see if we can't get those diamonds to uh, produce for us over there. I heard a skeleton. So it's not not completely lit up in here yet. That's for sure. There we go. Mm -hmm, more coal. Excellent. You need all of this. This is perfect. I did find quite a bit of coal in the ravine also. Uh, but uh, it, it only turned out to be two stacks because at the same time while you're digging it out of the ravine, you're using it to light up the ravine. So, And this ravine is enormous. It's huge. It's very big. Several branches to it. It's pretty awesome. I think I've got most of it lit up, but not all of it, that's for sure. Alright, excellent. Alright, nothing down here. We got the coal. Got a lot of coal, actually. We've got almost two stacks, which is excellent. Okay, uh, we had that block. We can take that out and drop down, I believe, right? Yes. There we go. And we need to go up the waterfall and light that up. Oh, somebody took a shot at me. There you are. Come here, you. There we go. Gotcha. Give me your XP. I'm really getting this area lit up down here, and so I'm finding that the uh, when you run into mobs now, there's more than... Uh, there's, there's clusters of them because there's less area down here to spawn, and they so badly want to spawn with me. Or near me, at least. Okay. There we go. Excellent. No problem. And that's going to shut that one down. Cave shut down. Very good, very good, very good. It's one less cave hole in here to worry about, and then everything else is going to work so much better. Our mob spawner machine, that's going to work out really well. That'll definitely be part of the facility as a mob spawner. Got to have one of those. A great big structure out there. Visible. It, it is what it is. It is a mob spawn trap. and It's there to do one thing, and that is to grab mobs and get their drops. All right. Cool. This has been a good little cave. I had no idea it was there. I, well, we knew it was there, but I didn't realize it was going to be quite uh, so awesome here. Oh, man, this is awesome, because I just started cooking up that cobblestone to make stone out of it. To make the stone brick. And then we can get started on the bottom floor of the uh, facility. That would be great to be able to get that sealed off, so get the first floor done. We can move on from there. We got to run a rail track from here up to that area so we can take the rail down. And we'll extend that rail around. Excellent. Let's, uh, let's put this down there. There we go. Cool. We'll grab that coal on the way back out. If we, of course, we go this way. This place just keeps on going. It keeps on giving. Hmm. Let's see here. Ooh, I should probably eat something. Getting a little low. There we go. We're not recovering from that damage we're taking there when I drop. Alright, let's take a look. Oh, well. Looks like this might... Ooh, look at down there. Diamonds. Now, I've got the diamonds in that tunnel. I've also found some diamonds over by the uh, stronghold also, so we've got those as well. <clears throat> let's go down and get those. Go. No more lava. 
Who's protecting this down here? Some lapis over here on the wall, too. Oh, boy, this is getting to be a good caving adventure. I'm glad I turned the record on. I almost didn't record. I was just going to come in here and just mess around, but you know what? What the heck? This is, uh, look at this stuff, boy. I c I'm telling you, I, I keep saying it, but it's true. I, I couldn't have asked for a better Let's Play. You guys want to know what uh, the seed is for this uh, this particular world? It is genetic earth, all lowercase, just together, no spaces. Seven one, genetic earth seventy one, and uh, it is a phenomenal map. As you can see, if you guys have not watched all the episodes, you've got to go back and watch. It's amazing the amount of stuff I have found, resource stuff in this area. It's just incredible. Incredible. Just making sure no one's going to come down the waterfall behind us and blow up and ruin my diamonds and ruin me and everything else. This is called being cautious. Got diamonds involved here. This is some serious business. Oh, look at that reoccurring block. Did you see that? Of course you saw it. There's another reoccurring block. It almost did it again. All right, let's uh, let's go get those diamonds. We got our fortune pick on. I'm gonna wait, let me make sure this is lit up, okay? Just make sure this is all lit up real well. I like the amount of lava around here too. That means we've got a lot of stuff we can uh, use uh, the lava lights and stuff for the facility. That'll be great to have lava lights in there, as opposed to torches hanging on the walls. Look at those beautiful diamonds. Ah, yes. Mm-hmm. Delicious diamonds. How many we got here? One, two, three, four. At least a stack of five. All right, let's see how many we get here. There's a double whammy. There's two. Come on. That's three. Four, five. Ooh, another double. Six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Was that ten? Ten diamonds out of that was four, five blocks. That's great. We doubled our, doubled our diamonds right there. Oh my gosh, that's more diamonds right over there. Do you see those? Oh wow. Wow, am I glad I turned the record on today? Let's make up for that horrible episode where the silverfish almost killed me. Let's uh, let's douse this lava here. Okay, you just, did you see how I did that? If you don't know how to do that, guys, you get a bucket of water in your hand, just pick a spot on the floor, set the water down with your left trigger, pick it up with your left trigger, and that's it. <clears throat> I like to leave the lava. I like the lava. I like the way it looks. It's a cool part of the game. I, I tend to, uh, I try to keep as much lava as possible. But this is just, this is more diamonds. Unbelievable. I could use my fortune pick on the redstone, but I'm not going to use enough redstone to really have it matter. That I'm aware of, anyways. We will do some redstone stuff, though, for sure. Oh, boy. This is great. Not only are we picking up some... Oh. Diamonds. Is there only one here? It looks as though we've only... Nope, there they are. There they are. Okay, cool. They're down below the lava line. All right. Um, do I have some gravel on me? Let's take the gravel. Uh, try to douse it from here too. There it is. Gravel will kill lava, but you gotta give it some time to, to soak in. You really do gotta give it some time. You know what? Let's try. Let's do this. Oh, look at that. Just waiting to eat the diamond. Get out of here. It's my diamond.
Hmm. Okay. That's not going to go anywhere. Let's, uh... Sorry, I got all quiet there. I'm just, uh, concentrating. I don't want to lose these diamonds. So there we go. We got them. I think there's only the two here, so... But hey, that's awesome. Look at this. We got, uh, 14 diamonds here. Plus, uh, several more that I know about, so... We're, we're doing pretty good on the diamonds right off the bat here. Wow, that's some deep lava right there. Uh, okay, we got a mob here somewhere. I'm hearing a zombie. Hmm, don't know where he is. I'm not going to worry about him too much. Eventually this area is going to be so lit up that they're going to be so limited that there's going to be one here and there. There's always going to be one or two here or there, but uh, not enough to really worry about. It's not going to affect, uh, it's not going to affect us very much. Okay, if I'm not mistaken, we've got to follow this waterfall back out. So I got so quiet there. I was really concentrating hard. I just want to make sure we get these diamonds. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. This, no, this didn't... Uh, here we go again. I'm going to get myself lost. Um, no. How do I get out of here? Wait, did I drop down in here? I did, huh? Yes, I did, right here. Okay, that's right, I dropped in here. See, that's the mistake. I do that, you drop into a room like that, and then I forget how I got in there. All right, back to what we were doing here, and that was lighting us up. I had planned on going back to the stronghold, but uh, this has actually turned into a pretty neat episode of just some, just some caving, you know, just doing what needs to be done. We're getting the job done here. Let's take this on up. Perfect. There we go. Let's take this up even further. This is, should be the way out, so we'll get out of here. I do want to go back to the stronghold. How far are we into this? Oh, we're already 18 minutes in, so... So many diamonds. Oh my goodness, that is just great. We've got some nice coal going on here, too. Let's see, I don't want to break this pick. I want to make sure we still have it when we get the diamonds on the other uh, outside of this, uh, outside the tunnel here. We still have uh, at least three I'm going to get with it. There's some in the ravine, too, but they're not exactly in a very convenient location to, for us to get to quickly. Because we are running out of time here. Unless I decide to take this and cut it up into pieces and just uh, just play it. You know what? I'm going to do... Uh, and we'll just cut it up and kind of collage it together. I can't resist the coal. We need it so badly that uh, I can't resist it. It's like I've got to grab it. It's so important to the game. You know, torches, you gotta have uh, fuel for your furnaces. It's important. There's a coal hole. Alright. You know what, I'm gonna go ahead and pause right here and we'll get out of this room. I'll finish grabbing a few more things here and we'll get out of this room and then we'll uh, go over and hopefully take a quick look at the stronghold and the ravine that is right above it. So stick around. Uh, I'll be right back in just a second. Welcome back, everybody. Let's uh, go in here. I made a quick diamond sword. And I thought we'd come in here and enchant it with... Uh, oh, we'll do about a 25 on it since we've, since we've got uh, 25 XP. We might as well use those up. And then I'll pause again, and then I will get to the, that point in the... Uh, uh, the stronghold in the ravine that I was looking to show you. We'll, we'll go 26. What do we got? Sharpness 3. Hmm. No knockback. That's too bad. Alright. Tell you what. I've got more stone cooking in here. 
Let's take a quick break again, and next time I talk to you, I will be up above the library uh, in the ravine. Welcome back, welcome back. We are at the library right now, looking down over the top of it. Uh, I've got it all cleaned up. The floor is replaced, uh, torches placed, and just kind of picked up a little bit. I got the ladder area fixed up a little bit. Uh, but let me show you the ravine. That's what I really wanted to show you down here before we call, uh, call it the end of this episode. But Stronghold is right here. Okay, that's the that's the uh, the, the end portal right there. Uh, I do have a bunch of walkway built all the way around up on the second floor here. And we'll have to do that at some point in time. We'll go up there and show you. But um, I want to come down from there onto the Stronghold as well. This is our little entrance over here that we tried to do the one other time and uh, almost died. So anyways, we're going to try to get in through the front door, which is over on that side. So I'm going to find that. And then our next episode, we are going to go ahead and go back into the Stronghold and uh, find a few more rooms. I know there's an extra library in here. I did see some chests, and there's also this room, which needs to be uh, shut down. So do stick around. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. It was kind of a unplanned thing, but it just started to go so well that I thought, yeah, you know what? I should be uh, I should be recording this and uh, sharing this with you guys. This is this is some caving. There's a nice uh, skeleton. He's not too bright, though, is he? Goodbye. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I really could use uh, some likes or some comments just to see if uh, you guys are seeing these videos. I know they're being watched. I've got a few views on them and uh, just like to get some comments some feedback on how things look and uh, whether or not you're enjoying them or not. What do you want to see me do? I know you want to see me build and I will be building soon. Like I said, I got that stone cooking. So we'll have some stone brick and we'll get started on the uh, bottom floor of the facility and it'll be grand in just itself. But I did want to make sure I showed you in this episode the ravine and how lit up it is. It actually goes uh, on the other side of this wall. It splits in several different directions over there too. So there's a lot of ravine here uh, to, be, to be seen. It's amazing just how big this ravine actually is. Anyways, that's got to wrap it up for me, guys. I keep uh, saying goodbye and then I keep talking some more. So hope you enjoyed the program. I will talk to you again next time.